and end. You've been doing so much amazing work with interactive visuals. You're working in a very particular tool, right? Yeah. Uh, touch designer, is that right? Touch designer, that's right, yeah. It's like a, a node-based uh, programming language, because mm -hmm. uh, uh, I've always had kind of an interest with coding, but uh, diving in fully just going through text has just always kind of challenged me, whereas yeah. the visual ones is just like a bunch of little windows that you kind of just plug into each other. It's got a steep learning curve, but once you get going, it's, uh, it's kind of like no bounds and limits, and you just kind of uh, make really wild, really crazy things. It seems like a lot of all the uh, installations here kind of are running off of it as well. Exactly. Can you tell us a little bit about the piece that you're showcasing here today? Yeah. And yeah. When, what went behind it? Uh, actually, uh, I did it with uh, my buddy uh, Prey First, and we're, uh, we're tackling the first room and even the outside, and it's kind of just like an introduction to the whole experience, mm -hmm. and that's kind of the nature of both the building and the entry room. Yeah. I tackled the entry room a bit more myself, and that's where the tracker comes into place. If you walk into this really dark room you kind of get the atmosphere and like the message of what the experience is so it was meant to be pretty minimal but provide kind of an experience I guess to AI into being tracked so you have like visual trackers on the ground showing like uh, that you're being received kind of an outline of yourself even some data sets just basic ones like what your ID number is and how long you've been there but not too much to take away from the fact that they are supposed to be introduced. Mm -hmm. um, there's also a uh, little addition to um, trying to get people to connect with one another, and if you're close enough to somebody, uh, you will be connected through a little bit of a line, so kind of like almost a bit of like an icebreaker before even going in to kind of get that playful, kind of yeah, hopefully yeah. silly dance that I try to get <laughs> everyone to do beforehand. When you think about your work moving forward and the, how rapidly these tools are developing, um, is there sort of this pie-in-the-sky vision that you have for what you can do with your, your current tool stack and uh, kind of like the big vision of the, the piece that once all this stuff gets to a point where it understands us even deeper and can sense and beyond just like our movements and our emotions, uh, you know, maybe even just like our inner feelings and our inner thoughts, oh, yeah. uh, like with things like brain computer interfaces, <laughs> right? Yeah. Uh, have you experimented with more than just motion mm -hmm. and thought about kind of where this stuff goes from there? Oh yeah, absolutely. I mean, that's. Um Honestly, even just like this exhibit, this experience is just seeing even other other artists and just diving further into this. That's definitely why I have plans for the future is either utilizing AI tools that have been developed through and shared for free through the touch designer community, which is uh, the fabulous community for that. But even just diving more into the bare bones of like machine learning and training my own models to develop certain aspects of anything I display. But the grand, I guess, vision is almost to make yeah, essentially a, a sentient program in a way. Well, super excited to have your piece up at the front. It's a perfect introduction to the rest of the show. Uh, you want to show me show me around the pieces that you got here? Let's do it. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. All right, let's, do it. let's go. Okay.